It's six thousands upon thousands stolen from four different ATMs in separate towns. Now you're looking at some of the damage these thieves left behind. And 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post is live in Lee Summit, where the thieves hit twice in the past week. Belinda. In fact, behind me is the Bank of the West. You can see some of this yellow caution tape. And really beyond it, there used to be an ATM standing there just about a week ago. That was before thieves took a forklift off of this construction site, drove it through the fence, and hit the building over and over. It happens. Uh, I'm surprised at how often it happens. Tom Anderson has seen his share of ATM thefts. There's something he knows firsthand. Someone stole a forklift off of his site and drove it through the fence to the Bank of the West on Highway 150 in Lee Summit. Sometimes it is just brute force that people realize if they hit anything hard enough or if they jerk it out with a truck or that it's going to come open. Anderson's lift was bent. Broke a fork completely off and bent, bent the other one. The bank's pillars heavily damaged. The ATM still needs to be replaced. I've been doing this 39 years. I've never seen that happen to a piece of equipment. Yesterday morning, clerks at Minute Marts in Independence, Kansas City, and Lee Summit saw their ATMs had been broken into as well. A worker at the 39th Street location in Indy tells me someone pried open the doors, disabled the alarm, stole surveillance, and wrecked their ATM. They made off with 20 grand. I live in the neighborhood here, and it's uh, very shocking that, you know, they had robbed something so brazenly. Officers are looking at anyone as a suspect. Employees who have ever worked with those machines would know the vulnerabilities of those machines, where to pry, where to push, you know, what, how they're locked up. And the possibility they could be connected. Meanwhile, Anderson will keep building and hopes that these will have a change of heart. It's disappointing and there's a lot of work out there and all the trades on this project are, have a hard time keeping skilled people uh, employed. So. Those guys, you know, if they decide to change careers, we got a career for them. Those other Minute Marts hit on Tuesday morning are on State Line in Kansas City and Lakewood in Lee Summit. If you have any information that could be useful, you're asked to call police. Reporting live, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.